Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we created a pumpkin shaped PCB for Halloween decoration, remember? There we used an awesome tool to draw the circuit and design the PCB layout. Altium is a PCB designer which can be used to design simple PCBs for your hobby project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. If you have seen our previous projects, you know we use Altium for most of our projects, right? After that video was uploaded, some of our subscribers asked me to create a beginner's tutorial on designing PCB layout for your DIY project using Altium. That's exactly what we are going to do today. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can draw the circuit and design a PCB layout for your DIY project using Altium. If you want more useful videos like this, make sure you check out our channel. You're gonna love it. And if you don't want to miss our future videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. So let's get started. The first thing you need is of course Altium Designer. You can simply click on the link in the video description to download the trial version. Or you can download the full version with a standing 30% discount. Once you have downloaded and installed Altium, you can simply open it. Once you open it, you should see a screen like this. Here, if you take a closer look, you can see two windows. On the left side window, you should see all the projects and all the files in that project. On the right side window, you should be able to see all the files. Now let's create a project. First go to files, new and project. Now let's give our project a name. Let's name it demo project and click on create. And on the left side, you should see a new project. And if you expand that, you should be able to see all the files within it. As of now, there are no files associated with this project. That's why it's showing empty. For this demo project, we will need to create two files, one for drawing the schematics and the other for designing the PCB layout. To create a new file, simply right click on the project, add new to project and click on schematics. And here we go. This is where we will be drawing the schematics. Now we will have to create one more file where we will be designing the PCB layout for this PCB. To do that, simply right click on the project, add new to project and click on PCB. And here you can see another file has been created. Both these files are right on top. And on top you can see two unnecessary files, right? First, let's close home page. Simply right click and click close home page. And do the same with extensions and updates. First, we will start by drawing the circuit. For that, go to schematics file. Now we will start adding components. Guys, since this is a beginner's tutorial, we will be starting off with a very simple circuit. If you want complete tutorials of creating advanced PCBs, do let me know in the comments and we will create a video tutorial for that. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing contents. On the toolbar right here, can you see a yellow button? It's called place part. When you click on that, a component window will pop up. And here you can search for whichever components you want. One thing you should keep in mind while selecting a component is, when you select a component, you should make sure that there is a proper footprint available for that component. Footprint details will be shown below the component details. Now let's place our first component, LED. Simply search for LED and below that you should see a list of all LEDs available here. Some of them are SMDs, some of them are normal LEDs. Check the details and footprint and make sure you select the right one. Alright, this one looks good to me. Let's add it in the circuit. To add the component, simply right click on the component and click on place. The cursor has changed, right? Now you can click on anywhere on the schematics. Let's place it right here. And here we go. Now let's follow the same steps to add a resistor. Alright, now let's add a battery holder. Go to parts list, search for battery. And here we can see one entry and uh, let's check the footprint. Actually, this is not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for coin cell battery holder. How can we search for that? To search for the components that are not there in the library, simply click on manufacture part search. Okay, here we go. It's showing some additional components and here it is. This is the one I have been looking for. Now let's check the footprint. Yeah, it looks good to me. And now we can place it. To place that, simply right click on that and click place. Okay, the cursor has changed. Let's place it somewhere here. And one more thing, if you want to rotate a component, simply press on spacebar. See, it will rotate 90 degree. Now let's place it here. 
all right now we can simply add one more component that is a switch by following the same steps all right all the components have been added now we can connect different components together for that click on the wire tool and the cursor has changed right and simply click on any terminal of a component first we will connect the battery and the resistor first click on the first terminal of the battery and you can see the wire is being placed right and click on the terminal of the resistor okay now there is a connection between the positive terminal of the battery and the resistor now let's connect all the different components together resistor to LED LED to switch and switch to negative terminal of the battery all right the circuit is now complete at this point one thing you can do now is add a proper designation to each and every components for example the designation of battery is now BT question mark right we can change it to BT1 for that simply click on the component open the properties panel and there you can change the designator uh, let's name it BT1 and hit enter and we can do the same for the remaining components all right the circuit is now finished now let's save the file simply press ctrl s give it a name and hit save now we can design the pcb layout while in the schematics file go to design and click on update pcb document and this window will appear make sure all the components and nets are selected now click on validate changes and then click on execute changes and here you can see all the components and nets are added to the PCB file okay here you can see a black portion and a gray portion right the black portion is actually the PCB but we don't need this much area for our simple circuit right so let's redesign our board go to drawing tools right here right click on that and select rectangle draw a small rectangle and make sure all the components and routes will fit inside that rectangle so this is going to be the shape of our PCB all right now select this rectangle right uh, go to design board shape and click on define board shape from selected objects see now the board shape has changed now all you have to do is place all the components inside this board and arrange them the way you want now one thing you should keep in mind is every PCB has a top side and a bottom side right and some PCBs has some layer in between when you consider this PCB it has a top side and a bottom side while placing a component you have to make sure the component that you are placing is in the right layer since this is a beginners tutorial I will be placing all the components on the top layer to check on which layer the component is currently in simply click on the component and under properties you should see layer see the switch is in top layer resistor is in top layer and LED is in top layer now if you want to change it from top layer to bottom layer simply click on the component and under properties select bottom layer see now it's mirrored the battery holder is now in bottom layer now we don't want that right so let's change back to top layer simply click on that layer top layer our work is almost done guys now all you have to do is route all the components to do that go to this routing tools right click on that and select interactive routing okay here you can see the cursor has changed now click on the first terminal of the battery and if you move the mouse now you can see a route is being placed now click on the terminal on the switch and that's it the first route has been added we can easily do the same for all the remaining nets we can change the width of the routes by simply going to the properties on the right hand side of this screen all right our pcb is now finished now if you want you can add text and images to our pcb to add text click on play string click on the position where you want to apply the string press escape now double click on the string and under text you can change the text let's change it to root set and hit enter see we have placed the text to rotate it simply press on spacebar all right so basically this is how you draw a circuit and design a pcb layout for your diy project using altium 
Like I mentioned earlier, this is a very simple demo project. If you want more advanced PCB design tutorials, do let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and support our channel. Okay guys, see you in the next video.